Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, November 20, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe down by clicking the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to click um, the link down below to our Patreon channel where you can get our uh, signal service and also you can uh, join us on live trades and also on courses. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we uh, pulled back quite significantly in the trading session, mainly due to the fact that the US dollar started appreciating. But then uh, everything turned around and uh, the US dollar broke down again and now we started rallying. However, I think that these two rallies here to the 1332 uh, um, levels, they kind of showed us that this market is not ready to, to break out from this level here. And if you look at the technical indicators for this currency pair, they are all pointing to lower levels. It is just a matter of time. Um, if we have a rally in the US dollar index um, on a Friday session or tomorrow session uh, or a Monday session, then this market will go crashing down towards the 1296 level or around the 50 moving average. Um, that is what I do expect. I don't see this market going beyond this level and mainly due to the fact that we are nearly overbought. These technical indicators uh, for example, the MACD is technically turning around now. It's flat and its, it's curvature is going to, to go this way. And then we'll head towards lower levels. Uh, we have quite a lot of support here. But I think when this turns around, there's nothing that's going to stop this from going to lower levels. The same goes for the CCI. It's turning around. The same goes for the Stochastic. It, uh, there's much less momentum here to the upside than it has been. So... It is just a matter of time before we roll over and head for the lower levels. So US dollar, yen. So we rallied quite significantly towards the 20 exponential moving average. I've, I was expecting this to, to head um, towards the 50 moving average. And I still think that is going to be the case before we go significantly lower. It is a very negative candlestick, this, but... Um, I would be surprised if we fell towards these very lows all of a sudden. Um, main reason is because we are nearly oversold. And these technical indicators are technically showing that they are turning around. So there's not that much um, momentum to the downside as it was, for example, to uh, three dating tr uh, trading days ago. So at this point, we may go lower. That is possible. Um, we may test these, pre uh, these previous lows here at, uh, at 103, 673. But I would prefer a rally towards the 20 exponential or the 40 exponential before we go uh, all the way down to this um, trend line here. We are in a channel that is trending downwards and it will eventually go to this um, lower um, trade line here, trend line here. But... I think that we have uh, have to rally first before going going lower. But indicators are still negative, but they are showing signs of bullishness and turning around. So if we look at the euro and US dollar, we broke down quite significantly and then rallied again. At this point, I think that we will most likely go back towards these highs here before uh, turning around. We are overbought so just uh, keep that in mind this could be a market that also turns around here tomorrow and completely breaks towards the lows here of 11.64 uh, which is just at the 150 moving average technical indicators for this are still fairly bullish um, however we are overbought at this point um, the MACD is very bullish um, we still have room to the upside in the Bollinger Band uh, and the CCI and the stochastic are flat at this point. So if we get towards this area price level here, I'll definitely be uh, shorting this um, currency pair. So I'll see US dollar. So we broke down quite significantly all the way down towards the 20 exponential moving average. We did not touch the 20 exponential moving average, but... 
I don't think that this market is going to go higher. We probably go a little bit higher from here, but when you consider these technical indicators, we just need the, the MACD to cross the signal line and this will just come crashing down towards uh, at least a 50 moving average. Um, if you look at the RSI, it is at 71. Sarcastic has turned around, crossed the signal line. RSI, uh, no, the CCI will cross this uh, signal line probably tomorrow's session, uh, definitely on Monday session. And uh, we'll also have the MACD uh, crossing this signal line tomorrow or on Monday session. And that will pressure the price down towards at least the 50 moving average, probably the 150. So we'll technically see, but I don't think that this market is going to, or this currency pair will go higher from here. It will go lower and trade sideways as we have been, been doing for quite some time. So US dollar CAT, uh, we rallied up towards the 20 exponential moving average and then broke down again. This is a market I think that is going to go higher towards the 50 uh, moving average. And the reason why I say that is that we are um, at the oversold area. We are not completely oversold yet. Um, we have a little bit room to the downside, but I think that we'll see a, a little bit of rally to, probably to the 20 exponential in the beginning, similar to this. And then we'll head to lower towards this area here. If this area breaks, then of course, then we'll go significantly lower. We'll head back towards this trend line here, but we don't have that much room to work with. Um, I think we need to rally, get the RSI back towards the 50 um, area before basically going back down. So at this point, the other technical indicators are flat. MACD is flat, CCI is flat, so, so is the sarcastic. Uh, and the Bollinger Band, there's a lot of room to the upside and a little bit to the downside. So um, a rally towards the 40, that's a possible sell. Uh, to the 50, definitely a possible sell. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. There are over 80 uh, traders uh, using our services already. We have been only online for two weeks, so it has been a fairly major success. And you get access to our signal service, our full technical analysis, and also you can join our um, on online trading and courses. So. Good luck and thank you very much.